Hi, my name is Joe Coppola with Automation Service, and today I'm going to show you how to mount a remanufactured Fisher DVC 6000 series positioner on an actuator. In this case, we'll be using a remanufactured Fisher 667 size 30. First thing you want to do is get your mounting hardware in position to start the mount. The main components are the adjustment arm, the connector arm, the lock nut, and a star washer. I like to set that hand tight just to get it in a good starting position. You start by having one of your bolts to mount it to it halfway screwed into the yoke so you can hang the bracket to get you lined up. As you slide it over, you want this connector arm to stay on top of the bias spring. A good method might be to reach underneath and, and hold the or over the top, however you can get to it to keep the bias spring on the bottom of the connector arm shaft. As you line it up, we will thread the other bolt into the yoke and tighten both of them down. Next thing to do is to get your travel adjusted. To do this, you need to retrieve the alignment pin from inside the cover. So you loosen the four captivated screws to remove the cover. And in here you'll find this alignment pin. That will hold this feedback arm in position as we adjust for its travel. I'm going to loosen this up just a bit. This particular actuator has a three-quarter inch travel, so I will adjust this feedback arm to line up with this connector arm shaft at uh, the .75 mark while aligning hole A with this alignment pin to the threaded hole in the housing. Once you have that secure, you can tighten that nut. And it should maintain its position there. Climbing pin can go back into the uh, retaining hole here in the module base. And then we can connect our output to our actuator to the DVC. After that, you can apply supply pressure and move on to auto calibration. This concludes our video on mounting a DVC 6000 onto an actuator.